Hello everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Part 3. This is us uh, just finding out that Claire has made it to the police station and we have to go meet her. But uh, I actually had to stop playing. I'm feeling slightly sick for the last couple of days. Um, so I didn't get to play much. But hopefully you know, we can get some good gaming in right now and get some good things going. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. As I mentioned before, leave all uh, helpful hints and tips in the comment section below if you have any. I uh, will always appreciate that. Anyway, without further let's get into this. So, we've been bit once, and we're like almost dying apparently, according to Leon. Slightly frustrating, but it's okay. So, what we need to do now is make our way to where Claire was. How much ammo am I sitting with? Well, uh, 66 shots, it's not bad. Not bad. So, um, what have we done in the last episode? Well, basically, so someone said I didn't read this document. I'm pretty sure I read this guide pamphlet. Did you know while well, we were at home? Of That's fascinating. I'm pretty sure I read that, but someone said I didn't read that, so I'll, I'll double check it. Hello, Mary Antoinette. Let's just do this safe. This super safe strat that every. Oh, crap. That's how you do it. You do it like this. So it's like. And then there's five. And then uh, 12. And then uh, I'm gonna go for seven. No. Okay, we're not lucky this time like we were last time. Can you hear that scary noise? That's zombies, if you're wondering. This game is very scary and very intimidating with all the zombies, but, uh, you know. I'm ready for it, guys. I'm ready. I'm not scared of no zombies, okay? Okay. Let's go this way first. Don't see any windows. There's a door. Art room. Okay, we got a board here. Combine. Got three boards now. I get the feeling I should not open this. I don't think I can. I need a, a, a lever. I need a lever. Okay. That's nice. Like a nice little dead end. That's always nice to know because we know where we are at least. Time to go through the store. Number three, yeah. So it's very hard. It's very hard for someone like me to. The art. Art called the Red Stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Now Milk dried, diving that lead led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the peel of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated dedicated to a wise king. This fall, the stone that long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilly lies in the beauty shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots with terrible than Caligula. I have no idea what any of these words mean, by the way, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Yeah. Oh <gasps> yes, shotgun time! I know it's shotgun. I've I've played this game before. I've played this. I know about the shotgun. Oh no. Okay. Is that a chest? That looks like a chest. I think it's a chest. What's this? A hand. Statue's left arm. Okay, that's random. So I kind of want to make my way back to getting the shotgun now, so I'm going to do that. Because I'll feel safer once I have the shotgun. I don't think there's any zombies on our way to where the shotgun is, so I'm pretty chilled. I think, I think it's pretty uh, it's a pretty much safe, safe run from here to where the shotgun is, I hope at least. What is the fastest route? I think it's actually through here at the bottom, right? Hello, Marvin! What's up, dude? If you decide to become a zombie, it's so have to kill you. Not yet. Okay. We've placed two of these uh, medals already. I think this is the fastest way to the shotgun. Oops. Use. Yeah, this pink's something. Yeah. But these zombies are already dead. <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys are dead, right? You're not coming back. As I mentioned before, if you guys know these... I'm gonna try again. Let's go for M. Uh... S uh, 
K J H P Okay, I give up. Okay, we tried our best. It wasn't good enough. So, oh, George Scott. George Scott. George Scott, Elliot Edwards, and Marvin Branagh. George, George. There's no George here. What about Elliot? There's no Elliot, so it has to be Marvin Branagh. Is there a G here? There isn't a G. Okay, what about Elliot? And Scott. Scott, 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 Scott. There's no S. What about S over here? No S here, what about S here? Hmm. Prano, Elliot Edwards, George Scott. G or S. Don't see a G or S. G or S. I remember this puzzle that taught me about the uh, the names of the people that worked with us. There's no G or A, so this one can't be George Scott. So that has to be Branner, Martin Branner. Is there an E maybe? There's an E. So George, G or S. G or S. There's no G or S. Let's just try all of them. Okay, let's go try the other one. George Scott. Once again, no G or S. There's an S for Scott. George. It's only an S. Wait, S R Q P U T S R Q P U T. Okay, George Scott. There's a G. What about Martin? But Elliot. There is no Elliot. Okay, Scott. Let's try. Uh, MSG? What is this? Okay, I don't know. I give up. But now we know at least the one guy's name. It's George Scott. The other guy is Martin Brenner and the guy that is Edit Edwards. I don't understand. They said I must get those people's things. I got those people's things and now they're like, no. You are still permanently dead, right? He's locked up and he's permanently dead too. Okay, just checking guys. Gotta check. I'm here for the shotgun, baby. I'm all about that shotgun lifestyle. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. My entire human life. Yes! Hallelujah! Oh, yes! Shotgun time. Reload this bitch. Okay, now we got a shotgun, so I feel a lot more confident with my exploration capabilities. We should. Oh, we actually just straight up lose the. We actually straight up just lose the what's call it? That's pretty cool. I never actually knew that. Okay. That is actually pretty cool. Awesome. Okay. This is frustrating. I can't solve this puzzle. We know it's George Scott, and we know it's Elliot Edwards, and we know it's Marvin Branner. But those don't work. Let's see if we can look at the notes again. Maybe that'll help us. It seems very quiet. Does this feel, doesn't seem very quiet, guys. Maybe I should put on some music in the background. I don't know. Um, Rookie's first time. Leonis Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special your wishes to unlock the desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Okay. David Ford. Elliot Edwards. This is George Scott. And Mar Marvin Brenner. David Ford. Now, we don't know what order it goes in. So this one could be D. So there's no D. So Martin, Brenner, George Scott. So there's no G. There's no G. Or um, S here. What about here? This one has to be. This one has to be Elliot Edwards. So if Elliot Edwards is a lot, then Ford, right? David Ford. There's no D either. Oh man, there's an F as well. Hmm. 
in order of our deaths. So if I'm Leon and this is here, it should be D F E D F E, but there is no D. There's an F, there's an E. What about if I take M? There's a D too. David Ford. Elliot. Edwards. But there isn't an Elliot. Ah! N E. What is the N? David Ford. <sighs> Elliot Edwards. What is the N? How is the N even in <sighs> applicable in this situation? Okay, well then this one is George Scott and Martin Bra Branner. George Scott and Martin Branner. That's what I was trying to do. So George Scott Branner. So B. There is no B. What about here B? But we've already come to the conclusion that it's not always right. We had David Ford, correct, right? George Scott. George Scott Martin Brenner. There's no Ford for David Ford. There's a Ford for David Ford, but we don't want David Ford. I think Ford uh, Scott Elliot Edwards David Ford. I feel like I'm wasting a little bit too much time here. here we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let, let's just try and feel. So what was this? I kind of forgot what that one was. It was like D D E F C. There's R. So that's, that clearly states Elliot, but it was N N E D. It was Ned, right? It was Ned. The last one was Ned. N E D Ned. Oh, there we go. Rita Phillips. Rita Phillips. So Martin Branner and uh, was it the initials? Martin Branner, Rita Phillips, and George Scott. I didn't even see the Rita Phillips. Uh, so Martin Branner, Rita Phillips, and George Scott. Um, Rita. Oh, I didn't even see Rita's name, guys. High capacity mag Matilda. What does that do? Please tell me that gives me... Oh, it gives me more shots. 100% worth the time and investment we spent there, guys. <coughs> Definitely. More shots is good. I really need to heal. But I don't want to use a super herb. Uh, Martin, are you turning into a zombie yet? No? Okay, good. I don't want to use the super herb yet. If I don't have to, you know what I mean? It's not It's not on my to-do list. I'm my shotgun out for now. Just in case we fight something scary. Um, oh, I should go pick up shotgun shells. Let's go pick up some shotgun shells. I think that's a good idea. I'm pretty sure picking up shotgun cells will be a good investment. Yeah, we solved the puzzle, guys. I don't know who was Ned, or the, who was the N for. I don't know who the N was for. That's the problem. Where's shotgun cells? I'm gonna need shotgun cells. That much is clear. Is there anything we can put away here? Um, not really, right? We should actually pick up a knife too. Even though it's kind of broken, we should pick up a knife too, because the one knife's definitely gonna break. So that's the problem. Anyway, and we don't know where the next. Box is going to be that's going to have like our equipment for us. So we actually have to be a little bit more careful. <sighs> I was talking to my friend about the game after I recorded yesterday when I was lying in bed trying to not die of uh, stomach ache. Um, it's so weird how this game is scary. It's just a game. I'm, I mean, it's literally just a game. It's not like. Oh, what's that noise? It's not like it's real life. It's a game, dude. Excuse me, game. Excuse me, game. I'm right on one bite away from death. <clears throat> oh, is that a herb? It is a herb. Can I use this herb? You wouldn't do me dirty like... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, no. I should have never taken that knife. Which one is the quality? Is the white the 
how much quality is left was the black or how much quality is left. They don't really tell us. Combine this with this. I wish you could repay your knife with other knives. Um, should I discard it? Yeah, I really don't want to do it, but I feel like I should heal just in case I fight some scary zombies. I've got a feeling I'm fighting some scary zombies, and I don't want to use a, a, f a full heal when I can use a single heal. Okay. Okay, it looks pretty fine. Hello, dude, can I help you? Nope, uh, I guess you are fucking dead, dude. We're not going that way. Fire alarm? No. Can I just quiet? I feel a little bit um, self-conscious right now. Oh, we're going out here. Oh, I don't want to go outside. There's zombies outside, dude. Oh, we're trying to get to Claire. We're trying to get to Claire. I keep forgetting. Hey. Leon? Claire! Hold on. I'll be right there. Oh, yeah, guys. Hey. Just scream as loud as you can so all the zombies can hear you. At least he won't turn into a zombie, guys. That's the one positive. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's flirt in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you weirdos. Good luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire. Don't lose hope. She's kind of cute sure though. We're gonna find him. Oh shit. Oh shit, I was not even looking at the screen, yeah. thank god. You know what that means. I was looking yeah. out the window. Dinner time. Dude, you can't eat zombies. Okay, you can't eat zombies. Go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Oh shit. Okay, you need to go. Now. Okay, listen to me and go, woman. Okay. This, both of, us. of course, Clay. You will not die. I refuse to let Clay die. I fucking refuse. I will kill these zombies myself. Can I help her? <gasps> oh my god. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Oh. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin. Damn it. I'm knocking up there. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Just gun ammo lying America, man. Oh, we got the cutting tool. That's pretty cool. Can I go through it? I don't think I want to go through it. That's fine. Let's go through it instead. This looks safer. <gasps> we back here? I remember this place. Oh, you poor zombie. He doesn't even know. I got a shotgun now, dude. You came to the wrong fucking neighborhood. Excuse me? I knew you weren't dead! I freaking knew he wasn't dead! You took a shotgun round to the freaking head! How are you not dead? How do I get my knife back, dude? My knife? Hello? Uh, hello, my knife? Okay. How do I get my knife back? Excuse me? There's still a zombie in there. There is, but he's stuck. He can't open doors. He can't open doors. We're fine. Oh, we can unlock that. I feel like I should have cleared this area out before. I feel like I made a mistake. I feel like I definitely should have cleared out this area before. That's all to aim. Oh my god, I was too late. I was too fucking late. Oh, that guy's getting up too now. This is bad. 
This is bad. This is a shotgun situation, I think. In the kneecap. I think he's dead. What is this? Flash grenade! Okay. Alright, I don't. Oh, I was gonna say that. What? I don't have slots. Oh, but there's a green ho Oh, man, I'm gonna have inventory issues right already. Okay. Is this can but I don't know the slots game. I might have to put the mag away just because it takes too many slots. Electrical part. Oh no! Wait, wait. Reload the shotgun. And I know I need electrical because there was a fuse box over here, right? Wasn't there a fuse box over here? I think there was. Are you alive or dead? Just let me know. What is this? A freaking crank? And more, what's this? Yellow gunpowder? Okay, so we're gonna have to go to the box, pull our stuff away, and come back here. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, I don't, I don't wanna open that door. I'm gonna go around instead, it's fine. I don't wanna open that door because then there's two doors that are opening, that can open, and then. He's still stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. Ignore him. Let's just go in the strat. If they can't get to me, I'm safe. Are those two zombies are dead? Looks like permanently, because they would have got up by now. We know there's a cop zombie over here. Cop zombies seem to be strong. Cop zombies seem to be the strongest, like. Probably because they're cops, I'm assuming. I fucked up. Shit! Fuck. Uh, what someone, uh, someone told me to shoot their legs off. Oh. Oh. Dude, your legs immortal. I regret every decision I made. Okay, there we go. No leg for you. And then you just shoot him in the face. But it's kind of hard because he keeps moving. I don't want to waste any more ammo. Son of a bitch. So I'll use a bit of, I'll use a bit of ammo here. I'll just confirm his kill. Double tap. Triple tap in the head. Okay, he has to be dead. There's no fucking way he survived, right? Okay. Now that opens that. Are you dead? It looks like he's permanently dead. Okay, let's go open this door now. I think it's fine. Actually, no, let's just go put the stuff away. And then we will, uh... We'll put the stuff away. Yo, Martin, you're not a zombie, are you? Martin, please don't be a zombie. I don't want to kill you, dude. I mean, I will, but I don't want to. What do you want to put away? Do we put away the high caliber? I think we do, unfortunately, because we just can't afford to carry it on us at the moment. It just takes up too much slots up. Let's go see if Ma Martin's a zombie. Yo, Martin! My boy! My friend! Are you a zombie now? Do I need to kill you? I know he's here. Martin, are you okay? Dude? Still alive. For now. So Martin is alive, he's just kind of unconscious. Okay, that's kind of good. At least we know Martin's alive. That's the first step successful. So far going pretty good, guys. I don't think we're doing too bad yet. We can give this room a better exploration now. Because last time we kind of couldn't. Because we have a China juke a zombie. You both are perma dead, I think. Which is good. I'm ready. What you got for me, guys? Bring it. Bring it. No, I oh, that's scary. The only thing I worry about now is the um, that immortal zombie. Can he? Can he get out of that room? And if he can, is he still immortal? That's all I want to know. I don't think he can. I think he's stuck, guys. I think I I glitched him or something. Which is perfectly fine by me, by the way. I'll be extremely happy about that. Now, we know there was quite a few things we wanted to get here. In this room, specifically. Looks like you all are dead permanently, which is very nice. 
I hear a zombie though. Do you guys also hear a zombie? Because I, I hear one. And when I hear one, that's when I worry. Because I'm like, why do I hear one? There isn't one. What am I hearing? You know? And that's when they jump scare your butt. Are you alive or dead? You look pretty dead to me. Oh, a cup of coffee. Exactly what Leon needs right now. Herb! I'm supposed to herb. No, I do not have a spice for the herb. Okay, we'll come back again. It's fine. Anything else? Here we go. We'll come back again. It's okay. Let's open this little shortcut. I kind of like that old school uh, Resident Evil 2 original vibe. Uh, was it 2? One of the Resident Oh, no, it was 1. 1 was like... I watched the uh, Resident Evil 1 remake. Because this got me this got me excited about Resident Evil. Um, what did I need this for? I can't remember. I feel like I should keep the cutting tool on. Can I move it just like to a different slot? No. Uh, I feel like I need I want to keep the cutting tool with me at all times. What did I need this lever for? I can't remember what I needed the lever for. That's the problem. I remember I needed it. I just can't remember. What was that noise? Marvin, was that you? I can't remember what I need for. That's the problem. Also, this is open now. So any zombies I can get in here I can get to my safe... My safety zone. It's kind of a problem, right? Coming back for the green herb. Don't move, zombie. Wait, yes. I can click on it. You had ammo that whole time, you fool. Oh. oh I thought that was a quick turn or something. Okay, I think we got everything in here now. So we never need to come back here ever again. And that's kind of nice. That's kind of what I... That's the place I want to be in the game. Where I can go to an area and I'll be like... I have done this area. Now... Did you hear that fucking scare noise? Now, what did I need? Is there anything I can put away? Mm, I think I should keep one single... I'm fine. Is fine the best heal you can be? Let's use a green herb and find out. I'm fine, but lighter green instead of yellowish green. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... I think there was the the bathroom. The bathroom had the thing. We can go through here again, though. Uh, maybe I don't want to go through there again. Because I remember there's actually zombies there. Like, huh? That I didn't kill. This is why I feel like I should kill all the zombies. Because I think I kill all the zombies. It'll just be easier to move around the map. As uh, I won't have to worry about zombies getting me. Oh, wait. I remember. There was actually... Because that's where you jump through the window. Yeah, there was actually a, a thing you could unlock there. So I actually do want to go back that way. Okay, sorry about all this backtracking. I do apologize. It might be a little bit uh, less fun to watch. But it's just it's part of the game. You know, it's something that has to happen. Because I'm not very good at this type of thing. Uh, that's my, that's my first ever Resident Evil playthrough. So, of any kind. I've never actually ever played a Resident Evil before this. So, and I'm not, I think I'm not doing too bad. Concern. Yeah, we know there's no zombies here, right? Right? Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? Wait, there was no zombies here before! Fine, you're gonna get a shot into the face because you pissed me off. Double check it. I don't know how I knew, but I fucking knew you weren't fucking dead, dude. You took a shotgun and three bullets to the freaking head and you're still not dead. Fuck this fucking zombie hole. I don't want any more surprises. I did. I guess because you have to come back here, you know. They have zombies that spawn here now. So that it's still scary. Because if you just came... Uh, wasn't this... Double check. I knew you weren't fucking dead, dude. I, I fucking knew it. You know how I knew? Because... <gasps> oh my god! Son of a bitch. I just... I don't understand. I 
I hate to use shotgun shells. I don't really have a choice, do I? The music stopped. Why do they keep respawning and why do they never die? So frustrating, dude. Okay, my heart my heart rate did increase there quite a lot. Quickly close it! Nope, okay. Oh my god. So fucking frustrating. What the what do you mean, what the dude? It's a fucking zombie. Shoot her in the head 30 fucking times if that's what it takes to make sure she's permanently fucking dead. You know what? Close this too! Fine! No more zombie entrances in this fucking police station. It's done. I'm not allowing you guys to get in here anymore. Are you dead permanently? Good. There's another zombie down there. What the hell, dude? How many zombies do you want to. Put in this one little fucking alleyway. This is insanity, dude. It's too many zombies. I've already killed a zombie that spawned here before. This is the second time now. Let's say just got back up. Dude, this is gonna take all my ammo. This, this one little path, this one little alleyway is gonna take all my fucking ammo. Oh, what the hell? That's too many shots per zombie game. Are you done? The music creeped me the fuck out. Seal this shit. I'm done with these zombie crap. Oh my god, there's more windows. Yeah, I'm out. Fuck it. I'm done. It's infinite zombies. I don't have time for this shit. I made a critical error. I should never have gone down there. It took all my ammo. Ah, uh, excuse me? Electronic gadget. Where am I? Locker room. Cap. Oh, herb. Give me that herb, baby. Well, oh, I can't pick the flash grenade up. Huh? Where am I right now? Map! Oh. oh that's a key of hearts. I do not own a key of hearts. A Tamu lock. Yeah, this is where I was trying to get to without fighting 80,000 zombies game. Man, you know how much ammo I lost for that? I have almost no ammo left, basically. I'm pretty much screwed now. I need ammo ASAP or I'm going to be in trouble. Too many shots. Too many shots per zombie. That's the only uh, thing I'll say about the game right now that I do not enjoy. I think it's too many shots per a uh, zombie. Electronic gadget. I think I use that to blow up the C4, don't I? Wait, but I don't have batches for electronic gadget, do I? Examine. Yeah, yeah, it needs batteries. So we can't use it right now, so we can put it away for carry spot. How's my life looking? Life is fine, I'm doing great in life. But ammo wise, we only have 23 shots left, and it takes like 10 shots per zombie. So obviously, that's a big problem. Oh, right, you know what? Pick up a knife. Get a knife. Get a freaking knife, knock them down, slice them with a knife, save ammo. I'm a freaking retard. I should have I should have had a knife ages ago. You know what the problem is? I just don't want to pick up knives because I'm too busy trying to s conserve uh, inventory slots. But I think this is a great place to end the episode right here in the dark room. Since this is a safe room, there's a safe point here. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Enjoy it. Please be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next episode of Resident Evil 2 where we uh, go and we put the little turny turny knob in the bathroom. Was that all we could do? And we could also look for batteries to detonate the thing. Yeah, yeah, we can get a uh, battery. This, this, so this corridor sucks, dude. What is this? Oh, is that? Oh, it's things I bought it off. Ah. Oh.
I should actually just board off every single window in the game and there's no windows left for them to get inside. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time with more Resident Evil 2. Bye.